Ever since the outburst of the problem between Binance and the Nigerian government, there has been an upward trend and a surge in the download rate and sign up of Bybit crypto app. The Bybit app looks so much like Binance, but of course, it has its own uniqueness. And in this video, we shall be looking at those unique features of the Bybit app. If you are to sign up on Bybit, kindly use the first link in my YouTube video description and then sign up from there. We are starting right now and my name is Waterfred1. So I opened the Bybit app. Starting immediately, I know that most of us use Bybit for P2P and one of the first things I recommend is to have the P2P option or the P2P button here. What do you do if you want to do that? Click on more. And once it loads up, what are you going to do? Right up here, click on edict. You can see edict right here, click on edict. And right here, you can remove anyone you don't want. Anyone you don't want, remove it. Let us say you don't want reward hub, it's gone. Scroll up and add P2P. This is P2P. Click on this on the plus sign and P2P comes up here. Click on done. So just go back. Go back to the home page. Okay. So this is the home page back home. You can see P2P looking at you right here. You don't have to go look for it anymore. If you come here, this top is your profile where it is where I highly recommend that you verify your account. You can see I, I, I verified. Okay. Verified ID. Okay. You can see where you can invite friends and earn money. And uh, I recommend you also click on security and make sure your security level is high okay turn on your two-factor authentication that is with your google play store add your phone number verify your email you can as well add phone password okay if you wish okay now when you are done with that come back home yes and basic things this is just a basic one click on deposit if you want to deposit anything if you want to deposit funds you can see deposit with usd vip to p dollar okay or deposit crypto which a lot of us i know would love to use okay usdt because i know most of us does usdt btc and whatever and here you know you have to select what the right network you select bsc here that's binance bp20 network make sure that if the place you are sending from should also be bp20 okay we already know that yes if you select trc20 make sure it's trc20 okay and then when you click on this market right here it is where you can actually study what is going on for example i made a video about bxn recently and if i decide to i can want to add other trading peers do you understand what i mean yes if i click on done and let me search bxn and then i scroll up a bit you can see bxn usdt i can decide to click on it yes and then i'll study how it's going you can see what is happening right here on bxn usdt wallet uh you uh, market i mean to say bxn usdt market you can see it's going up you can see that yes and this is 15 minutes chart you can decide to turn it to one hour chart and let us see you can decide to turn it to four hours chart okay you can decide to turn it to one day chart if you want to trade USDT, BXN, you can click on trade right here. You can see trade here and you can decide towards trade. Okay. Now, if we should go back home and then we have to P2P, let's quickly touch P2P. And I think that's, that's what you want. That's the basic things you need to know. We click on P2P. You acknowledge. Okay. Now, when you're on P2P, I know, of course, you should know that the first thing you should do is what? Check the currency. Okay, the currency that means a lot okay yes when you when you're on usd you can know that the payment options you are expecting you can't go there and see naira you are in us dollar now so when you come here what you'll be seeing are us dollar denominated payment options okay you can see apple pay bank of georgia bank jago bank of america and the rest Okay, and I believe most of my audience are Nigerians, so let's switch this to NGN, which is Nigerian Naira. Okay, you can see. So when you are here, you can either stay on buy or sell. Okay, why why I say you should first of all click on buy and buy or sell is because any filter you apply, we only apply to buy. 
when you head over to sell, it refreshes and you have to do it again. So it's better you what stay on either buy or sell anyone you want to do at the moment. And then you go to filter and then say you can use verified merchants. Show ads from verified merchants. So if you like, you can leave it both verified and non-verified. Anyone of your choice is fine. Okay, anyone that is your choice is okay. On the payment options, you can use bank transfer or anyone you want. If you want to use OP or anyone anyone you want, confirm. Click on confirm. Okay. And sorry, I've clicked the, uh, this OP and then the amount. Let's say you want to buy yourself from 100, you want to sell from 100,000 and above. Click on confirm. And you can see those that are selling from 100k above will now start appearing. This same thing applies to when you click on what on buy. Okay, and from here you can click on, on it and you can see your orders that are in progress. Or oh, and um, from here you can see um, those that are in appeal, pending payments, or disputing, whatever in progress, anyone. Okay, if you click on all, you can see some of the others that I've executed and some of my P2P activities here on uh, Bybit. Do you understand what I mean? Some of my, some of my sell USDT and the amount and everything. Okay. Now, when you come here, these three lines, you can see what my ads. You can see these three lines, these three dots. I need to say when you click on these three dots, you can see user center, my ads, P2P help center, trading tutorial. If you want to watch it, this my ads is also very important. If you want to place an ad, okay, on Bybit, okay. When you click on this plus sign that's where you can start setting your nickname okay let me quickly set up my nickname with a red one okay and I click on confirm let's let it load p2p shared assets let us load. so from here now you can decide what what you want to do if you want to buy you want to set a buy ad or if you want to set a sell ad okay but this is just another ball game altogether and there are strategies for doing this i don't just want to rush through this so if you want me to make a special video on how you can set your buy or sell ads on Bybee so that your own ad will start appearing so that people can either buy or sell from you you can let me know in the comment section and i'll create a special video about this setting up of ads and posting of ads on Bybee. Thank you so much for watching till this point. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. If you gained any value in this one, kindly give me a thumbs up. If you did not, smash this like two times and tell me why in the comment section. Do not forget to share my videos on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and other social media platforms so that other people too can gain true value just like the way you've gotten. Thanks once more for watching. Stay tuned. And I'll see you in my next video. Udo.